this is a hurricane vlog. Uh, my name's Cypress now. Uh, I'm trans. If, if you've been here for a while, uh, hi, welcome, welcome back. Uh, we're chasing Hurricane Adalia. Uh, yeah, I live in Charleston, Storm's gonna be in Charleston, gonna be up all night seeing what I can see. <laughs> all right, it's 2.25 p.m. I just took a nap for an hour and it's time to go out for real this time. Uh, I think I'm heading to Folly Beach. Uh, it's low tide right now or right around there, so it's not as bad as it's gonna be. So I'm gonna head out there. I'm not gonna stay out there for too long. Uh, but we're gonna head to Folly Beach, see if we can get some of that wind, see if we can get some of that water coming in without, uh, putting ourselves at risk too much. Don't want to do that. I am an amateur storm chaser. But yeah, that's the current plan. Uh, heading out there now. All right, so we're getting the first rain bands coming up from the south. Uh, yeah, that's, this is what it looks like. It's just heavy rain right now. I've got to go home, fill up my gas and take a nap and then we'll be back out uh, tonight, maybe live streaming it. Uh, yeah. So here's the thing, uh, Charleston's a very low lying area and um, <laughs> it's already starting to flood in some of these neighborhoods that are built on marshland or built right next to marshland and the wind's not even that strong yet. Uh, we're just getting the outer bands. This is that sort of northward flank of rain. I'll post a radar screenshot here if I, if I edit this properly. Uh, but yeah, there's like standing water already and it's been raining for less than an hour at this rate uh so we're probably gonna see flooding get a lot worse here as the storm moves through the night and into tomorrow right so here's the setup we're running tonight we've got three pop tarts uh we've got the ham we've got the cb we've got three 20 ounce red bulls we're probably gonna drink like one and a half of them antenna on the roof we've got the medical bag uh, there's water in the medical bag, uh, so yeah. Forgot to mention that the uh, CB has a built-in weather radio, so that's going to be real useful because I can I can hear the latest watches and warnings and know where to go and where not to go. Coming over the bridge into downtown Charleston, this rain's picking up. I'm not going to want to be over many bridges for much longer. Gonna go downtown, see if I can see this flooding before the rain gets too bad, but downtown is not a place I'd like to stick around for a while. Uh, gonna have to get my timing right, get onto the connector, get out to fucking John's Island and IOP. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah. My radio's working good. My weather ro radio's working good. Yeah. <laughs> gonna be a fun one a fun day and a fun night i'll be up all night because as soon as this wind comes in i'm not going over any of these high bridges and i live between a couple high bridges so either gonna have to take the long way home or not go home at all tonight here's the market market's gonna be flooded as hell just in a little bit but uh it stopped raining for now i'm downtown uh gonna go stand on the seawall for a second and then uh, not be downtown shortly thereafter. You can see down there there's already flooding there's already a road closed off someone just turned around. Uh, still this water gathering around on the edge here. Like I said it's low tide. Uh, it's just storm surge. Uh, we haven't had that huge wind yet. The wind's just picking up. Look how fast the clouds are. My hat just flew into the street. So the wind's picking up. Now is the time for me to cross more bridges. Time to go. Maybe be back, back downtown later where the night takes us. Lost it again. <laughs> There's so many press along this wall. It's really funny, like both sides of me. I'm just like, so 
surrounded by actual news people. It's just kind of silly. We're getting we're getting silly with it. We're getting larpy with it. It's raining sideways. I spent too long downtown. I think I missed my window. Yeah, I don't think I'm making it to Folly. Uh, we can try though. I could probably make it over the connector now and then it's just low bridges into West Ashley and another low bridge into Charleston. Here's that free closed off flooded area there. It's funny that uh, one of the nice parts of Charleston is the part that, that floods the most. Can't get enough of that waterfront property. Well, we're on the con. <laughs> this is the James Island connector. Things are in motion. We're heading out to Folly. Here's the marshland with all these low clouds. Uh, and the rain's still coming and going and bam, so's the wind. Uh, we're not solidly into the outer wall just yet. Okay, so there was a damaging tornado recorded, uh, and the warning is for uh, Charleston, North Charleston, Daniel Island, uh, and Mount Pleasant. So we're gonna turn away from Folly Beach and go that way. Uh, this is uh, Fort Johnson. It's now a South Carolina uh, Department of Natural Resources facility. You can see a little bit of tornado damage here uh, from where this tornado went through. You can see how that uh, that <laughs> soccer net uh, got pushed on its side. Wind's picking up again. Um, hoping it wasn't too severe and damaging. I'm going back to Folly Beach. Uh, it's going to be clear for a little while. I can catch my breath by a towel. Uh, things like that of that nature. And, uh, yeah. I acquired a towel. This just isn't a good hat. It keeps blowing off. We're on Folly Beach now, finally. That sign is shaking. It's waving at me. Wind's picking up. And, uh, we're just gonna look at the waves for a second. the tide is. Wind is quite strong. This air coming off the uh, beach is really warm. Water temperature is 84 degrees, uh, according to the National Weather Service. Like, it's, it's hotter on the beach than it has been anywhere else it's been today. At this point, um, probably gonna go by the lighthouse, uh, see if that's still there. Things are happening quickly, but they're happening slowly. Uh, the wind's died down again. Uh, we're probably gonna get more later. It hasn't rained in a bit. It'll it'll come back to raining uh, later tonight, but uh, yeah. There's water over here. Oh, wow. it starts raining in which case I'm abandoning that plan because I don't want to get cut off out here. A couple roads are flooded coming into here but not too bad. I drove over one flooded roadway. I don't want to make it a habit of that. I could still see the white line and two cars ahead of me went through just fine so I went through that one. But I don't want to 
I don't want to be here when I can't leave. I still want that option open. Got like 12 more hours of chasing. We're walking up the path with all the graffiti on it. I wonder if my car's gonna get a parking ticket. We'll find out. Here's all the graffiti here. So this is the end of the beach. There's a sudden turn after here. Uh, that's the lighthouse way out there. Here's some water. Uh, here's some rocks. Yeah. Rocks! I love rocks! That lighthouse has seen better days. There's hole in it at the bottom. Wondering if it's gonna make it through today. There's gonna be about an eight foot surge and so um, a bunch of shit's gonna be underwater tonight. We'll see if it makes it through. I didn't get wet and didn't get a ticket. That means I had a successful beach outing. Uh, this point I might go back downtown I don't know. I don't know where to go right now. It's a gladiator. <laughs> foam is now blowing off the beach. Like the foam from the sea, you can see it kind of gathering in the road. Uh, it's just coming off and it, it almost looks like it's snowing. So that's a, a wind speed indicator is what that is.
wind is shaking my car. That's interesting. Got more gusts. I moved my car to a slightly more protected spot. I'm going back to the beach, but it might be my last time at the beach today. Uh, they're starting to be debris filling the road. Ah, uh, shit. My car was getting shaken from side to side when I was not in this more protected spot that's right next to Bert's. <laughs> has come just by where the surf is. You see the surf all the way over there. And you can see sort of the damage done to this uh, little walkway here just because of the waves that have gotten pushed further in by the wind than they ever would have been uh, normally. So I'm sitting in my car. Uh, AC off with this towel I got. <laughs> okay, so it's dark and it's high tide. We're gonna do one swing by the beach and see if it's lit. And if it's lit, I'll go out on the beach and I'll get video of uh, the surge. Storm surge has really not been awful here. Like, there's a bit of flooding, but you get that in Charleston with the rain. Uh, the wind's still picking up, right? Like, this storm's still coming in. It hasn't passed us yet. I'll be up for a while more. But. Yeah. Interesting how much more wind there is uh, closer to the beach. Like, this first row of buildings does a lot to just shelter everything else. So I made it off Folly Beach, uh, but uh, my lightning port is wet and my phone won't charge and I'm at about 20%, so that's gonna be... <coughs> We're gonna call it a night. 
Uh, yeah. If you enjoyed content, let me know. I'll do more like this.